Hello friends. Today I got access to the test server and this video will be for educational purposes. The first minute of the video is to show the amount of HP and damage of the ability. Then the theoretical part, where we will see the peculiarities of the new mech's ability. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Because I try to make you the most relevant and informative content. Now listen to some music while we upgrade Tengu, and I'll be back with my comments when the battle begins. And so let's go into battle. As we can see it turns out the new jumping mech is not as jumpy as we'd like it to be. Jump distance is about 15 meters, ability radius is also about 15 meters. The jump is in the direction of movement, just like the Lancer. That is, if you want to deal damage to the enemy, activate the ability when the distance to it is 30 meters or less. But if the target is moving away from you, Keep in mind that the distance should be less than 30 meters. Also notice the funny thing is that at the moment of jumping he doesn't have EMP ability. He literally jumps over the wave, but you need to have time to catch the moment. To summarize my opinion of Tengu, if we're talking about a real 5x5 game against live opponents, I wouldn't put him in my hangar. It's a fun new mech to have fun with in CPC. But since he can't jump high and far like the Lancer does, not much fun. Yes you can jump into the enemy and make a kill with it. But it's not the mech to bet on. This is my opinion, if you see in it the potential that I have not recognized, write in the comments and change my mind to the contrary. Of course, the pluses are its durability, it's really tough. It's also pretty fast. But the energy is very low, and the ability does almost as much damage as a kill shot. That was my first look and first opinion on Tengu. Write your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video, where I'll do a detailed analysis of Tengu from A to Z.